The second method in finding inverse matrix is by using the property of AB equals to KI. There are four properties of inverse matrix. So first, the inverse of matrix A inverse is equals to matrix A. The second property, the inverse of A transpose is equals to the transpose of inverse A. The third property, the inverse of matrix AB is equals to inverse of B times with inverse of A. And the last property is determinant of A inverse is equals to 1 over determinant A. If AB equals to I where A and B are square matrices, then B is called the inverse matrix of A and is written as this form. Thus, A times inverse of A is equals to inverse of A times A and is equals to identity matrix. If AB equals to KI, then multiply inverse of A to uh, both sides, then we get IB equals to K times inverse of A, then simplify. Inverse of A is equals to 1 over K times matrix B. Now, go to, to the example 5. Given matrix A and B, it is known that AB equals to KI, where K is a constant and I is a 3 by 3 matrix. Find K and hence deduce A inverse. First, find the value of K. From the property of AB equals to KI, multiply matrix A and matrix B, and then we get this matrix with the element of 200, 020, 002. Then factorize 2 out of the matrix and leave the matrix of 100010001 which is the identity matrix we know that ab is equals to 2i therefore k is equals to 2 next hence deduce a inverse since use the word hence, we need to manipulate AB equals to 2I by using properties of inverse in order to get A inverse. That means we cannot use a join method. So from AB equals to 2I, multiply on the left by A inverse both sides. You can use this tip. So A inverse times A is equals to identity. The constant 2 can move in front. So, we have identity times matrix B equals to 2 times matrix inverse A. Therefore, A inverse is equals to 1 over 2 times matrix B. Substitute the matrix B. Then, write A inverse as a single matrix. Now look at to the example 6. Given matrix A, find A squared minus 6A plus 11I with I is an identity matrix 3 by 3. Show that A times A squared minus 6A plus 11I is equals to 6I. Hence, deduce A inverse. First, Find the expression of a squared minus 6a plus 11i. Substitute into the matrix form. So, a squared means matrix A multiply with itself. So, matrix A times matrix A. And then, minus constant 6 times with matrix A plus constant 11 times with identity matrix. Then, solve. This is the answer getting from matrix A multiply with matrix A. Then, expand the constant 6 with elements in matrix A. This is called scalar multiplication and the same goes to this term. 
the constant 11 expand with the elements in identity metric. Then, solve the addition and subtraction operation among the matrices. Okay, negative 1 minus 6 plus 11. So, we get 4. And then, for the second element of row 1, 5 minus 6 plus 10, we get negative 1. And then, for the element of row 1, column 3, uh, 10 minus 12 plus 10, sorry, plus 0 is equal to negative 2. And then, for the element of row 2, column 1, negative 2 minus 0 plus 0, so the answer is negative 2. And then, 6 minus 12 plus 11, we get 5 for the element of uh, row 2, column 2. And uh, for the element of row 2, column 3, 10 minus 12 plus 0. So, the element is negative 2. And then, apply uh, the same way to the next elements in the matrices. Then, we get this matrix for the answer. Next. Show that matrix A times matrix A squared minus 6A plus 11I is equal to 6 identity matrix. So, multiply matrix A with matrix A squared minus 6A plus 11I. Then, we get this matrix with the element 6, 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, and 0, 0, 6. Factorize 6 from the matrix, and as we know, this is the identity matrix. So, it's equals to 6 times identity matrix. Therefore, uh, matrix A times matrix A squared minus 6A plus 11I is equals to 6 identity matrix. And the last part of these questions. Hence, deduce A inverse. Can we use a join method in order to find A inverse? No, we cannot use a join method. Since we use hands, we need to manipulate from the property of matrix A times matrix A squared minus 6A plus 11I equals to 6 identity matrix. Then, from the property, multiply on the left by A inverse. So, A inverse times A is equal to identity matrix. The constant 6 can move in front. So, when A inverse times I, we get A inverse. Simplify for A inverse. And then, 1 over 6 times matrix A squared minus 6A plus 11I. Then, substitute the matrix. And lastly, Write A inverse as a single matrix.